Today, I am going to be opening this 1995 Ghost in the Shell Chromium Cards box. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to, it'll be cool. Um, but also because I haven't seen this being opened on YouTube or anywhere else. So it's kind of historical purposes and I probably won't upload, upload this anywhere anyway. So let's crack on. The rarities are here and um, we've got the chromium cards which are your standard D ones I think and then you've got your reflectors, clear cards which are like see-through ones and then special reflectors. Uh, there's only one in every 96 packs it says here, so I guess that's all I'm hoping for. Uh, the reflector ones are pretty cool, I sent a couple of those off for grading recently, but let's see what's inside. Uh, my girlfriend has told me not to open this and to resell it or to keep it, but I want to open it, so I'm going to open it. So let's do it. Um, I'm going to get a knife, hold on. Well, I'm back with a knife, a kitchen knife. Ooh, it's done, it's open. Oh, this knife. Got my sleeves ready. 1995. This is a piece of history. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's incredible. So here we are. There's the box. Pretty cool. And now I get to see what's inside. And these are what the packs look like. Chromium trading cards, so let's get them out. Oh yeah, so there's a fair few in here it looks like. Move this out of the way, put that there in front. Count how many we've got. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 packs in total. And one of them looked a bit battered. This one here, there's nothing good in it. So let's have a look. Oh, it looks like we've got a reflector card here. Collection number one. Oh, are they all reflectors? This one. Nice. Did these on this one? And this one here, wow, these are really cool. So this is SP01. Chromium ones. Interesting. Let's do another one. This is a bit packaged a bit better. Oh yeah, that's cool. So it's number seven. Number forty-two. Ooh, that one looks special again, maybe. Number five. Oh, it's all together. This one is number five. Oh no, that was number five. This one is number four. And at the end, we've got this one. Ghost in the Shell Diving. S06. Right, I'm going to cut this here and crack all these packs. And then I'll show you what i got. Hello, I'm back. And I've opened all the cards. I had a really great time. So let me show you what i got. This is my binder. So these are the alternate forms. Oh my god, it's not rude. These are all the alt forms of the first cards. Ignore the Pokemon here. And um, so I only got six out of nine of the alt forms, which is kind of annoying. I would have liked more. I'd have liked all of them, but these are kind of cool. Anyway, let's continue. So these um, are the main cards, not the alt forms. I actually prefer these. The first one is really cool. I like that one. I'm gonna grade one of those. And yeah, I've got all these. Go to the next page. Um, these are sort of the cinemary style ones. They're really nice cards. And I got all these. This is from one booster box. Um, and then I got all of these, which are the. Um, so the normal set ends here. And these are the SPs or whatever that you only get one of per box. So I got 
all of the first nine. I got a couple of dupes of these too. These are the special ones. So I've got the first nine, some really cool ones. I don't know what I can show it, but better than nothing. So I've got all these. Um, so good so far, except for the initial alts that I missed. And then here's the next page. So I only got six out of the nine puzzle pieces. On the back of these are like puzzle cards. So if you turn them over, or if you had a binder where you can see both sides, it makes like a, a picture. I'll show them some of my dupe. But I only got six out of the nine. This one as well is horrifically off center, I'm afraid to say. Um, so I've got six out of nine of those, kind of annoying. And then I've got two clear cards, uh, which you can see through. One is here. You see, you can see through it, kind of cool. Um, I like this one, I'm not, but I'm not going to grade it because it actually has a weird print line on it. Can you see it on the right hand side? I would like to grade that, but I'm not going to because the print line. And this one is the SB card. There's only, there's one in 96 packs and I only got 20 odd packs in there. I think it was like 22 maybe? Anyway, so there's only one in 96 packs. This is the SB card. This is the super rare card. Sorry about my ring light. And I got one, I was very, very lucky, but it's also got a print line along the middle. Can you see it? So the separation print line, so I'm not gonna grade it. And also on the edge, this is very boring. And um, so look on this right edge here, there's a tiny ding. You see it in the light? So I would grade that. It's such a nice card, and they're really rare, but I'll probably only get a PSA 8. Like that line, I could grade it anyway, but I think for now, I'm still undecided. So these are the special ones I got. Let me put this back in. Um, so those two, you only get one every. What does it say on the box? Let's have a look. So the SP looks special reflector card, which is what I got on that one. You get one in 96 packs, so I did well. And the clear cards, you get one in 12 packs. And I got one there, and I also got each over here. I also got another clear card here. Can you see? I put it in a. Uh, let's get it out. This is a really nice one. So this one I am going to grade. Um, looks really good. I'm focusing on it. And um, it's a lovely card. I'm definitely going to grade it. So that's my second clear card. That's why it's in the grading sleeve. Put it in here. Can we get it in? There we go. I'll do for now. The other ones I'm going to grade are this one, which is a dupe the first SP one here and this one's got great edging no print lines just a really nice card so I'm gonna grade that and then these two they're just normal cards the normal chromium ones and um, but they've got nice edges and the cool cards and I'm gonna send them with a bunch of bulk and this one's the checklist as well so it says everything that, that you can get um, and then this one is the production information so I feel like these two will be popular so I might grade these two too and I also kept just a pack because they are cool. This pack has been opened, by the way. Um, and also, reach over here. Oh God. These are all my dupes. And I got quite a lot. So I'll put them in order. There's lots of nice dupes. Um, so I'll probably put these away somewhere for a bit. Oh, I'll put these all the way around. I have. What's this one? Oh yeah, that's one of the alts I got a dupe of. Then we've got all these. So you do get a lot of cards, they're really nice. Um, I'd like to encourage you to open a box, but I don't want you to because I don't know how many's left in the world and I'd like to open another one. So you get quite a lot of dupes, really cool, high quality cards. I had a great time opening them, even though it's probably not a good idea, but I did it anyway, it was really fun. Um, okay, I'm gonna call my video there. Uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna blow this because you know, I did my best. Okay, thank you for watching. Um, this has been uh, Ghost in the Shell Chromium 1995 cards opening. And um, thank you for watching. <laughs>